In this video, I'm going to show you how to use radio buttons using PyGooBoo Designer. So here's a simple window that I've made using PyGooBoo Designer. It has three radio buttons. They're labeled Pizza, Taco, and Neither. So it's basically just a simple program that pretty much asks which one you like best. Uh, pizza or Taco or neither of them. So if I select Pizza and click Submit, it'll show the answer in the console down here. It'll say pizza selected. Same thing with taco. If I select taco and click submit, it'll, it, so it knows which one of these radio buttons I have selected. I'll show you how to do this using TK variables and also without using TK variables. Hi, my name is Jobin and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi, and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome to Jobin Pi. Okay, so I have PyGooBoo Designer open now. Uh, it's a new project. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna add a top level widget. And in this top level widget, I'm going to add a frame. Then I'm going to go to control and display and we'll add three radio buttons. And then a button, which will change to like a submit button. So I'm going to change the text of that button to submit. And the first radio button, I'm going to change the text to pizza. And the second radio button is going to be taco. And the third radio button will be neither. Okay, so I'm going to name these radio buttons because right now the first one is called radio button one and the other one's radio button two and radio button three. The reason why I'm going to give them proper names is because I'm going to reference these widgets in my code. So anytime I reference a widget in code, then it's better to, to have proper names so it's easier to distinguish the widgets. Okay, so for pizza, the ID here, I'm going to set the name to RB underscore pizza. And RB stands for radio button and then underscore pizza. And I'm going to follow the same kind of naming scheme for the other one. So RB taco and rb underscore neither. Okay, so if I preview this window, we have this, just a simple window. And you'll notice that as soon as I click on one of the radio buttons, it selects all of them. And that's because we haven't configured the radio buttons yet. One thing you might wonder is why my radio buttons are shaped like a diamond. Um, it's because of the theme I'm using and it's because I'm running Linux. Uh, so I'll show you an example in PyGooBoo Designer. If I go to preview and TTK theme right now, it's set to default. If I change it to, uh, clam, you'll notice that the radio buttons have a circular shape. If I select uh, classic, it's uh, back to diamond and default uses a diamond as well. So if, if you're using Windows or Mac OS, um, yours might look different, but either way, it's it's gonna be the same procedure. Okay, so again, the um, so what's happening now is if I select one of them, it's gonna select all, or actually in this case now, it's just selecting all of them. So the first thing I need to do is I need to click on one of the radio buttons. I'll start with pizza. And here where it says value, if I hover my mouse over it, it says specifies the current value of the widget. So for the value, I'm gonna select, or I'm gonna type in pizza. For taco, I'm gonna set the value to taco. And for neither, I'm gonna select, I'm gonna put a value of neither. So the radio buttons basically all need a value. And this is the value that distinguishes the uh, selection from one radio button to another radio button. So the value is not something that the user will see. The value is something that you will evaluate in your code to see which radio button is selected. 
Okay, and the submit button, I want it to run a method whenever it's, it gets clicked. So I'm gonna select the radio button and for command callback, I'm gonna come up with the name of the method. So on submit button clicked like that. And I'm gonna name my button something meaningful as well. So btn underscore submit. Okay, I think I'm happy with that so far. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this project. And I'm just going to name this project radio underscore button dot UI. Okay, and I'm just gonna save that. Okay, so my project is now saved in PyGooboo Designer. Now I'm going to generate the code using PyGooboo Designer. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna click on the code tab and under application here, I'm just gonna click on generate. Okay, so we have the code for our project, copy to clipboard. Now I'm gonna to go to my Python IDE that I'm using and I'm going to paste the code. Okay, I'm just gonna run this to make sure it works and it does. So I can see my simple window here. And notice that when I select the radio buttons, they don't all select at the same time anymore. So I'm able to, to change them like this. And that's because each of those radio buttons now has a unique value. If two radio buttons have the same value, then it'll select both of those radio buttons that have the same value. Let me show you an example. If I go back to my PyGooboo Designer project, and here I'm going to add another pizza. I'm gonna call it pizza number two. Just as a, a quick example, it's not gonna be in the final project. Okay, so now I have two pizzas at the top, and I'm gonna name this pizza, or I'm gonna change the text to pizza number two. And pizza number two and the first pizza both have the same value. They have a value of pizza. Watch what happens if I preview this project. If I select neither, one gets selected. If I select taco, one gets selected, just taco. If I select pizza, like the first one, you'll notice that both pizza number one and two get selected. Um, and that's because both of these pizzas share the same value. So if I select a radio button that has a specific value, all the radio buttons with that value will also get selected. So I just wanted to show you that. And the reason why these two are getting selected independently is because their values are unique. So I'm just going to reopen my project so we don't have pizza number two because that's not gonna be part of the final project. Okay, so now we're back to one pizza, one taco and one neither. Okay, so going back to my Python IDE, again, we have this so far. If I select pizza and click submit, nothing happens because I haven't told the button to do anything yet. But what I want to do is I want to detect which one of these radio buttons is selected in my submit button. So how do I do that? How do I detect which one of these radio buttons is selected? The first thing I need to do is I need to create a reference to those widgets in my code so I can get the state of those uh, widgets. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here I'm gonna write self.rb pizza equal builder dot get object rb pizza. So I'm getting the widget from PyGooboo Designer and I'm putting it into this variable. So this variable now has a reference to that radio button. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing uh, for the taco radio button. Builder.getObject RB taco. That's because that's what we called it in PyGooboo Designer. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing for neither. So let's highlight both and put in neither. Okay, so we have pizza, taco, and neither. And now these are references to those um, radio button widgets. So what do I do from here? So now that we have a reference to those widgets, we can call them and get any information we want from those widgets. So in our submit button, 
I want to see if pizza is selected or not. So what I can do is I can write if self dot rb pizza in state selected then pizza is selected else print pizza is not selected okay let's just run this first to make sure it works and then I'll then I'll explain it Okay, so we have our window. I'm not gonna select anything now. I'm gonna click Submit. Pizza is not selected, that's good. I'm gonna select Pizza, Submit. Pizza is selected. I'm gonna select Taco. Pizza is not selected, I'm gonna select Neither. Pizza is not selected. So it's obviously working. But how are we doing this? So we're using the method of the radio button called in state. In state means it's checking the state of the radio button. And in this case, we're checking to see if selected is the state that the radio button is in. And if it is, um, it's going to evaluate to true. And that's when we print this out. So this is how you can check to see whether a radio button is selected or not uh, without using TK variables. But when I start my project, there is an issue. None of them are selected when my program first starts up. So how do I select pizza as the default when my program first starts up? So to do that, I'll show you something first. So in my constructor in the init method, I'm going to put self.rbpizza.state and I'm going to set the state to selected. Then I'm going to run it. And you'll notice that it's not showing as selected, like none of them show as selected right now. But watch what happens when I click submit pizza is selected. So you might want to watch out if you use the state method. Even though you can technically select the radio button, it's not going to show as selected in the graphical user interface. And I'm not entirely sure why. So to get around this, instead of using this, you can use the invoke method like that. And now if I run it, it shows the radio button as being selected. And if I click on submit, it's also being detected as being selected. So when we use the invoke method, it not only selects it and changes the state, but it also shows as being selected uh, in the radio button itself. So just use the invoke method for the radio button that you want to select as a default when the program first starts up. So how do we check to see if a radio button is selected using TK variables? Because right now, if I wanted to see which one is selected, you know, I have to put if in state selected and then, you know, check for each of the, the radio buttons and check their state. So I'm gonna go back into PyGoobo Designer and I'm gonna click on pizza here again. You'll notice that down here, there's a section called variable. It says the name of a variable whose value is linked to the widget. So the variable that it wants here isn't really a Python variable that it's asking for. It's a TK variable. Because remember, TK enter is, is essentially an interface to TK, uh, hence the name TK enter. So TK enter actually uses TK under the hood. What it's asking for here is to set a TK variable. Okay, so here under pizza, I'm gonna put a variable name. I'm gonna choose the name V underscore selection, like that. And for taco, I'm gonna put the same thing, variable V underscore selection. 
the values are going to stay the same. I'm not going to change the values. I'm just putting uh, a, a variable name under variable. And each of the variables will be exactly the same. Okay, so V selection for the neither radio button there. Okay, so all my three radio buttons are now referencing the variable V underscore selection. Okay, so I'm going to save this project. And now I'm going to go back into my Python IDE. I'm going to delete the code here for the submit button because it's going to look completely different. I'm going to pass it for now, but I'm going to put in some different code in here. And here I'm going to reference that TK variable. So self.v selection equal builder dot get variable and the name of the variable that we want is v selection because that's what we named it in PyGoogoo Designer. So why am I putting v underscore and then selection? Why, why don't I just call it selection? Well, it's something that I like to do uh, in my code in, in the projects that I write. Anytime that I see v underscore in my own code, I know instantly that that's in reference to a TK variable and not a Python variable even though v selection is actually a python variable here it's it's really meant to be used as a tk variable um, it's an object of a tk variable okay so we have access to that variable that we defined in pygoobu designer how do we use it so now in the submit button we can say print self dot v underscore selection dot get and here this is the method that we run to get the value of this variable okay so i'll show you what it's going to output if i rerun this project and click on submit it prints pizza if i select taco taco neither neither so now it's printing the value that we defined here under value so variable is now linked to that value for each of those radio buttons. So if you plan on using TK variables, this is how you can use TK variables with PyGoobu Designer and radio buttons. Um, if you don't want to use TK variables for your radio buttons, uh, then you can just use the method that's called in state. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.